Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be repairing a very common issue with the PS5 controller, and that is the broken springs on the L2 and the R2 triggers. The first one that broke on me, I sent it off to Sony. It took them about a month to get it back to me. So this time, I decided to go ahead and take care of the problem myself and show you guys how to do it. So for this job, you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and a pair of tweezers. So first, you're going to want to pry off the black bezel. Get underneath there, pry that corner up. Get this one right there, pry that one up. And then you go ahead and pry up the rest of it and just pull it right off. When you do that, it will expose two screws over here and the second set of screws is underneath the L1 and the R2 buttons. So you just go ahead and pry those off, pry this one off, and you will see the second set of Phillips screws. So go ahead and Remove that screw. Move the second screw. Once you got those screws removed, the whole thing just kind of comes apart. Alright, there you can see the insides of the controller. The springs, there's one on the side over here, and there's one on the side over here. This is the one that's actually broken, so you just pull that right out, and you can see right there, see if the camera will focus, you can see right there that the spring is broken. This side is actually still fine, but kind of want to replace that one anyway since this is a very common problem with these controllers and I don't know how long that one will last. All right, got the other spring out. Next, you get yourself two new springs. These springs that I got, um, people say that they are better than the original ones, and I, I just got them off of Amazon for like five bucks. And uh, people definitely say that they last much longer than the original ones. To get the spring back in there, you want to set it right on that little plastic piece, hold it down with your finger, and bend the top around to fit right in there. It is not that easy to do. It, is, it always wants to fly out of there, but it's very doable. So right now you see that it sits in the groove right over there goes around and then sits in the groove right over there. Once you do that, both your triggers are repaired and you want to put the whole thing back together. So grab the top, slip it over the buttons, snap it shut, 
Make sure these snap together. After you snap the cover back together, take your screws, put them back in there, and screw them down. After you got all four of your screws in there, take your L1 button, pop that back in, take your R1 button, put that back in, and now your whole controller is together. All that's left to do is put on this black bezel. Make sure these two pointy ends go inside there. And that's it. You've repaired your PS5 controller triggers. They both feel good now. Should last a little while. I'm, I'm absolutely certain that they will break again though. But thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and have a good day.